Alrighty guys, so let's get to building the Creality CR6 SE. So I've already went ahead and started the two bolts on the bottom and put the other two on this side and put the gantry right on top. There's literally only four, four bolts, you know, essentially to put this thing together. So go ahead and find the right size. So guys, so let's see here. Perfect, got it. So if you guys are trying to see what I'm doing here, if you look at the bottom here, get that light to focus out. There we are. So these two bolts right here that actually go up and into the gantry system. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Gotta tighten these bad boys up. You gotta get that gantry on there nice and tight. Yes, I am downloading Red Dead Redemption in the background, because, hey, why not? <laughs> so, let's set you guys up right over here. Alrighty. Go ahead and start tightening these bolts down. Now, generally, I recommend at least trying to get one as high as you can before you let go of the gantry. Otherwise, the gantry's going to go like this and you're not gonna have a very good day so always try to remember that make sure there's nothing in the way don't tighten it down hard until you get both sides you want to make sure this thing is nice and level go ahead and flip this guy around and I'm doing it this way off the edge of the table so it's just a little bit easier to get a hold of these bolts let's see here Line this guy up perfectly. Alrighty. You notice the bolt going in? It's a good sign. Just get it up in there nice and hand tight. Nothing too crazy. Creality did a pretty good job of designing this. They put all the extra notches on like the uh, Ender 3 Pro I have. This one has, you know, it's obviously way easier to build. If you build an Ender 3, then you know that. That's a good little 30 minute, 45 minute project. This guy, we're gonna do it in less than probably five minutes. So I'm pretty impressed with reality. Go ahead and lightly snug these guys down. Once we get all the wiring done, I'll come back and tighten them down. So now let's go ahead and figure it out. So Creality's taped everything down. That's pretty cool pretty helpful actually got some free tape out of it as well let's take all this tape out what do we got here so down here you know, right underneath you can't see from your angle but we do got the Z motor let's pop that around let's see here so as you can see this cable right on here tape right here on the Creality CR6 actually goes right in here to this guy right into that connection on the Z so don't forget to connect that this guy right over here we're gonna have to figure it out but I'm guessing it's gonna be for something along this side so we'll figure that out as we go right yep we put that down in there next thing they want us to put the screen in ah that's what that, what that cable's for. So sometimes looking at peeking at the instructions is good. So we got the new screen, touch screen, looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Love that peeling action. Oh, look at that, nice and glossy. You can definitely tell it's not you know it doesn't look like a super super high quality screen right off the bat but we'll see you know when we plug it in we'll see what kind of a uh, awesomeness we get out of it so you want to go ahead and plug this cable that's right down here it's taped on the board you want to go ahead and plug it right into the back of the monitor like so 
Get in there. There we go. All right. Get the provided screws. Come on, line it up. There we go. See, it's probably be a lot easier if I was using the uh, Allen key, but I like to always try to at least hand get it in there by hand first. You don't want to damage any of the threads. When you're using the Allen wrench to screw stuff in, you can sometimes not tell if you're, you know, getting in there fine or you're just grinding it in there and screwing up, you know, the threads later on. So. That's pretty good. Go ahead and do the rest of that by hand. Well, of course, it's a different size. <laughs> but Creality did include one of these guys, a little Allen key set. So that is pretty awesome. Thank you, Creality, for that. Let's see here. Looks like it's going to be the next one. Let's tighten this screen down right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's popping up saying hello. So hopefully you guys are having an amazing Sunday. Today is actually Sunday. Let's see here. All right, that screen is tightened down. Always remember too, when you have a Creality machine, these are made in China, so they do work on, you know, two different voltages. On the back of the printer, oh, the CR6SC. Let's see here. You will see that there's a 230 volt and a 115. Please, please, please remember if you're in the United States, go to 115. The United States uses 115. We generally don't use 230. That is European and Asia. So good tip for you guys. Just like in every every uh, Ender build video, everybody's going to tell you the same thing. Check your voltage before you even plug in the cable. Quick tip, guys. So let's go ahead and go back. So we do got the screen plugged in now. Let's get this cable out of the way. I'm guessing that's gonna be the next one to go for the gantry. Let's see here. So, it wants us to plug the cable in and then it wants us to put in the spool holder. Oh, that's pretty cool. Fortunately, I'm not, I don't need the spool holder on the side. I'm actually gonna mount it vertically. It wants us to put the handle on, which you don't really see. It wants to check the belt. Yep, that's pretty tight. Belt feels pretty good. So let's see here. I'm going to take this tape off of this cable over here. Looks like we got this little connector here. Alrighty on the side. Very easy. Creality made it very simple. Looks like we got one over there. Which looks like goes to the motor. Yep, right back here. And that is, what is it here? It's tagged as Z2. So this is the Z2. So I'm guessing this side is going to be Z1. Let's flip it over a little bit more. All right, we got another piece of tape over the cable. And I do love this Creality. If you are listening, that is a very good idea, honestly. Taping down the cables like this or just to make sure that they don't get damaged when they're getting packaged or anything. That's a brilliant idea. I honestly don't mind taking the time to take the tape off at all. I know these cables are going to be solid when they get to me. So I am definitely willing to take the time for that. Cables are a little long on the Z1. I'll definitely pull those back in a little bit later. Z2. Cable's almost perfect, the extra length you have. I don't see all the need for the extra length on this one. 
on Z1. And I don't want to push it down too much because I don't I haven't opened that yet to see what that board looks like. Ooh, that I see as a possible issue down the road. These connectors are really hard, and I literally to adjust this have to take the whole thing apart. Back to this side. Okay, looks like the Z's are done. Alrighty. Looks like everything's plugged in, so it looks like we gotta go up. Oh, that's very nice. Simple. Nice connector right on top. Alrighty, so. Go ahead and plug in the main loom. I'm guessing this is one of the ones that controls all the sensors, like the filament runout sensor and all that good stuff. Um, Creality, I'm confused on this. Why is this here like this to be rubbing up against this motor? Did I miss a step? I hope not. That's strange. Let's see. That's pretty cool. All right. It's a little, little loose. Gonna have to adjust the centric nut on this one for sure. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and pull out that tool kit. Oh, nice. Give us a full size one in Corality. Very nice. So let's find this eccentric nut. And a little, little tighten. And there you go. That's it. Done. It's just needed a slight turn. Not too bad. So we got the main loom in, the in. That's it, guys. She's ready. So, the main thing I did not. Oh, yeah, Creality. Just like everyone else is mentioning, the scraper. Dude, this thing is so cool. Look at this, guys. Creality's stock scraper that comes with the CR6SC. That is awesome. Let's see here. So, oh, I'm gonna feel like a dentist with this thing or something. That's a beautiful tool. So, let's go ahead and find out. Put all the stuff away back in the drawer. Put all the tools away. You don't want to have a dirty uh, work area, of course, you know. These in here. Ah, oh, there it goes. It was just a little too high. Never mind, Crowley. You just shipped it with the gantry all the way up. <laughs> Let's check this belt. That belt looks good. 
All right. So no, we're still good, guys. We're still good. Let's see here. So we got our filament. Right. So it wants us to run this guy through here. Here, under here, this way, to the front, okay. I can oblige that request. Let's see here, we got some little clips. We can go ahead and use these little cable ties, keep the cables all together. Probably end up designing something a little bit different, but these will work. Creality's using them for a reason, you know, so gotta try them out. Give it that quick little untwist. Get that cable in there, twist it back up. Okay. There and there. This guy right up here somewhere. Yeah, that's not right. So that's good right there. Perfect. This guy, shoot, I don't know. We'll just put it right here in the middle. And this guy down here that was hiding, we'll put it right in here. All right. So that should be about it. Oh, yeah. That, that looks pretty good. So, now one of the most important things is, where's the dang SD card go? Oh, maybe under the sticker. Ah, you got me, Crowley. It's right under the sticker. All right, so. Oh, upside down, yep. All righty, so. Let's go ahead and plug the power button in. Or plug the power cable, excuse me. And let's see what this baby can do. So, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and steal my power cable out of my Ender 3 Pro. Quick run this way. Alrighty. So See, now I see what everybody was talking about, the CR6 with this thing loading the filament. It can be a pain in the butt. Because the filament doesn't want to go straight. Filament's on a roll, so it always wants to have a slight turn to it. So, let's go ahead and put this at another angle. Slide that bad boy through. So yeah, problem number one, right there. Getting it in is kind of a pain in the butt. There it goes. Alrighty. Filaments in. 